an ancient grain and one of the healthiest and most cultivated millets in the world. Today we will see the preparation of steamed dumplings using foxtail millet. Welcome to Water Gravy. If you like my videos, do subscribe. To prepare the foxtail millet dumplings, add 2 cups of unpolished foxtail millet also called as Navane Tinai Kangni to a bowl. Unpolished foxtail millet is yellow in color. Wash 2-3 to three times. Add water and soak for 6-8 to eight hours. As I had explained in the preparation of perfect millet rice video, millets have to be soaked for a minimum of 6 hours so that the inner fibers get soaked too. This aids in better digestion and helps to get the optimal benefits from millets. I have soaked it overnight. The next day, you can see that the foxtail millet has soaked well. Add the soaked millet to the mixer jar. Foxtail millet is one of the positive millets. It is gluten-free, rich in complex carbohydrates, B-complex vitamins, protein, calcium and iron. To this, add 1 cup of grated coconut. Add half a teaspoon of Himalayan rock salt. Do not discard the millet soaked water. It is full of nutrients. Add 3 4 cup of the soaked millet water. If you have not tried millets or are just transitioning to millets, you can replace 1 cup of foxtail millet with 1 cup of raw rice and grind along with 1 cup of coconut. Do not grind it fine. Grind to a medium coarse paste. To a pan, add 3 tablespoons of cold pressed coconut oil. Add the ground foxtail millet coconut mix. This is the soaked millet water used to wash the mixer jar. Add half a cup. Switch on the stove. Keep the flame on medium low. Keep stirring to ensure that there are no formation of lumps. Being rich in calcium, foxtail millet is good for pregnant women and children. It helps in treating problems of the nerves, joints and lungs, maintains heart health, helps in controlling diabetes and improves immunity. As you are stirring, press and break down the lumps. Continue to keep the flame on medium low. You can see that the mix is slowly getting thickened. You will know it is done when it starts leaving the sides of the pan and forms one homogeneous lump. At this point, switch off the stove. Set aside for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, it gets slightly thicker and is easier to handle. Apply coconut oil to your hands. You can also wet your hands with water. Knead the dough. Mold into big lemon sized balls. Flatten slightly and make a dent in the center. This ensures that the steam is distributed evenly and it gets cooked through and through. Foxtail millet is warming in nature and generally had with butter or ghee. The coconut and coconut oil used in this recipe acts as a coolant and not only that will also help in the absorption of nutrients. To a steamer, add water, close the lid and allow it to boil. Meanwhile, if you have banana leaf, you can use it as a lining for the steamer tray. Smear a few drops of oil on the banana leaf. Line it with the prepared pundi millet dumplings. Once the water starts boiling, place the tray with the dumplings and steam for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, switch off the stove. Here we have our steaming, healthy, protein-rich, gluten-free foxtail millet dumplings ready. They will keep you satiated for a long time, thus aiding in weight loss too. It goes very well with red coconut chutney. Enjoy hot. Thank you for watching 
and do let me know your feedback in the comment section below. Join me on Tuesday for another interesting recipe.